What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we won our sixth badge, and now it is finally time to go get number seven because we pretty much captured all the legendary Pokemons, nearly all the legendary Pokemons. So we're going to be going straight to Palatown and all the way down to Cinnabar Island because we got a few things to take care of, like, you know, reviving a fossil, um, winning a seventh badge. You know, dominating this whole Unova-ish league because, you know, we're that dang awesome. And, well, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. Ah, we got repels, yes. Now, prior, like, to this recording, guys, I haven't been playing Pokemon games in, like, three weeks. You guys haven't noticed, have noticed that I have not posted up any videos in three weeks as well because, well, I needed to take a nice, a nice break and all. Everybody needs a break once in a while, just, you know, for mental health reasons. Me, because, you know, exhaustion and whatnot. And, well, look at this guy. The only guy that has seen us. Right now, I'm in a triathlon meet. Mm. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so here we go. Mr. Speedo Torpedo himself, Swimmer, wants the battle list, and he's coming with his basculin. Now, like I was saying, guys... Yeah, everybody needs their time to, you know, take a break, you know, relax, get to do some stuff. Me, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Taking a whole week off from everything that I am doing and just focusing on this and my graphics and everything else in between because, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta enjoy life, guys. It's not always about being serious and stuff. And, well, there we go with the side beam. And that water gun attack really, really got us. Okay, so let's go with the fly attack because that, that, that probably would work right there. So, yeah, I've been, I took that week off, or I'm taking that week off, guys. And from there, boom, you're going to be seeing an explosion of a uh, whole bunch of walkthrough videos, which you guys will enjoy and all that, in all its glory. And, well, look at this. Fly attack again on Duant. And I am feeling great. Look at that. A level 35 a Gigalith. Okay, alrighty. Pant, pant, pant. Okay, don't bother me ever again. Anywho, now, there will be... There will be occasions where I might forget what I'm doing and all that stuff, guys. It's all... It's all part of the thing. And, well, look at that. The door is locked. It's telling me something. Like, I think we need to go into this particular area to explore and whatnot. So, here we are in the Pokemon Mansion, guys. In all its glory. You guys already know what, what's in here. We're going to be seeing a few things about Mewtwo, Mew, and all that crud. Uh, you know, the whole shebang. And we're going to get, we're going to try and get through this as quickly as possible. That way we can actually explore the rest of the, the, the island. And look at that. Okay. All right. So it's a fight to the finish. And he is coming up with his Tepig. Uh, okay. All righty. So here we go with the Surf Attack. Mudslide ready to do some things right here. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Oh, damn. Nearly defeated us. But here comes a takedown attack. And that right there takes down Tepig. So it wasn't completely that bad. And look at this. Okay, so he's coming out with a Pig Knight. Pig Knight. He's looking even meaner. But look. Surf attack. Surf attack will do it. Surf attack. Almost does it, and well, here comes a takedown attack. That might take down uh, our good old mudslide right there. Not really. So here we go again. Surf attack. Mm -hmm. All right, surf attack does it. Defeats two good Pokemon right there, and well, mudslide is the victor. Oh yes. All righty. So let's just move on right here and check out the mysteries that they changed. I'm pretty sure we'll find a diary here or there, and look at that. We're going to be finding some Pokemon, too, such as this guy right here, Heatmore. That is probably, that is probably, what would you call it, a Magmar and Crud Baskets. Here comes a Fire Spin, and we have Fainted, and well, let's go with Gigalift right here, and we got to hypnotize this guy. All right, and okay, so Heatmore is now asleep. Let's go ahead and uh, capture this Pokemon. Oh wait, the, yeah, I'll try to feed it a, a Ultra or try to feed it a rare candy right here. And there we go, we cut ourselves a Heatmore. 
Alrighty, okay, so see what this little bastard has to say. So here it is, Heatmore, the anteater Pokemon. It draws in air through its tail and uses it to fuel its internal fire, using it to, like a tongue. Oh, okay. Alright, we got ourselves Heatmore. That's one Pokemon. Now we gotta actually switch out the other one because we do not want to get... Yeah, we do not want to get messed up right here, especially with, you know, level 30 Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Diary, July 5th, South America, a new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Yeah. Oh. So this must be the beginning. I wonder what Pokemon that you guys have found. And look at that, we found ourselves a Calcium. And, well, there goes our Repel. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Here we go with a super repel, and let's go ahead and find out what else we can actually find right here. Okay, so there's nothing in this area, but you will be finding another diary at some point right here. Um, my question is, okay, what is this mystery leading to? And, well, there's a table. There is another iron right there. We're going to be uh, giving ourselves a bunch of vitamins and minerals and whatnot, and let's see... Actually, let's go downstairs first and, you know, see what the, the whole hoopla is about the bottom part right here. Because there is another diary that I kind of want to read. And, uh, let's see, where are you? Where are you? Ah, there you are. Okay. Alright, secret switch. Yes, who wouldn't? And, uh, let's see, let's see. Going downstairs. Seeing what we can actually find. And there is the second diary. Diary, July 10th, we christened the newly dif uh, discovered Pokemon Arceus. Arceus! Oh, damn, I completely forgot about that Pokemon. Arceus. Wait, isn't Arceus a. Huh. Arceus. Isn't that the. Isn't that the legendary Pokemon of. Uh, Diamond, Pearl, and, and, and Platinum? That's kind of odd. Never mind. Okay. All right. Let's see what the upstairs has right here. And this place is like huge. Oh damn. It is huge. Oh my god. Okay. So here we go. Coming out with another Emore, and we're gonna be going with our Killicroc because it is both dark and it has a ground type capability. So let's go with a Mudshot right here. And that right there defeats Emore. Yes. What now? Okay, so that, that right there is uh, interesting. Now, if we can only get this guy to move out of the way so I can read that diary. And crap baskets. Don't have enough room for that. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, delete some stuff right here. Uh, PP up. You know, some of these stuff I can actually sell. Hmm, TMO6, it's toxic. Hey, you could give it to anybody, and you can't really... Yeah. Let's see, let's go with a Max Revive. I know I'm going to be needing it later, but we can find Max Revives everywhere. So there we go. Mudslide has been uh, revitalized. Let's see, Full Restore. Let's give that to Heatmore, just so it can take care of us. And, well, let's see. Found ourselves a Max Potion. Not bad, not bad. And let's read this. Arceus gave birth. We named the newborn type Null. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we're going into a Pokemon. Uh, now we're going into Pokemon. What was it? Uh, moon and uh, Sun and Moon, which I still need to complete. Huh. This is getting uh, stranger and stranger, guys. It really is. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Let's go ahead. Go ahead and find some other stuff right here, like the key, just to get to uh, the gym. And yes, we're pressing that button, and we're not going to battle that guy because screw that. But we will probably be, we will probably battle that guy at some point. Let's see. Grab this, and no more rooms for items. Okay, so this is getting ridiculous, really ridiculous. Um. Let's see, iron, give that to heat more. Let's see, let's go ahead and give this calcium to mudslide. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it right there. So here we go, carbose, wow, okay. 
Let's go ahead and give that to Heatmore because it is slow too. And before we go in there, there's nothing right here. This is just the exits, okay. Alright, alright, okay. Let's see. Okay, so we're in the final room right here. This is probably where we're going to be finding some, like, interesting Pokemon. Heatmore's one of them. Need to find out what the other are, the, the other Pokemon are. So here we go. Super Repel. And here is the final diary. September 1, Type Null is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Wow, okay. So, Type Null, a Pokemon that has been created, another Pokemon that has been created, and that you can get in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And Homeboy is trying to figure out where he's at. Do, 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 destroy. Do, 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 do. Let's go get it down now oh yes okay alrighty so here we go mud shot and that misses okay you gotta love that because it's accuracy alright here we go another mud shot okay and there we go we just defeated him and of course we're gonna get burned okay so let's go ahead and uh, not take on Larvesta while we're down let's go ahead and go with mud slide right here I think you can capture the Law Vesta in, in this in this area right here. Hmm. Let's go with the Bubbly Beam. Bubbly Beam does it, and Larvesta, you know, take down attack. That Pokemon looks mean as hell. So let's go again with another Bubbly Beam, and there we go. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And, well, we have defeated this person, and, well, now it is time for us to grab some more items right now. And grab this, found ourselves another full restore, which we are going to be using on one of our Pokemon because, well, shoot, Get, getting burned is always, getting burned is always the, uh, the best part. Alright. Lexi. Lexi, 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 alright. So there we have the, an individual waiting for us. So let's go ahead and battle him. This place is an ideal for a lab. It is. Alrighty, here we go. While I'm beating this guy, I'm going to be texting somebody right now. So here we go with a clang. It looks like a star me. Or star you. Or whichever one, I don't really know. Alright, here we go. Um, dig attack. Uh, and Clang has missed his attack, and there we go with the Dig Attack. And, well, let's see. We'll kill a Krug going to level 44. Learning, oh yes, Earthquake, which we will be using on Mudshot right here because uh, we kind of need to do that. And there we go, Earthquake Attack does. And here he comes out with an Accelagor, or whatever you, you, you call this Pokemon. So let's go back to Oinkinator right here. Alrighty, okay. Here we go. Oinkinator does its trick. And, well, let's go straight for a Ember attack, even though we could have used a much more stronger attack right here. And here we go. Ember attack. Nearly defeats Accelogor. And here comes that Agility attack. Okay. Here we go. Ember. You won't. And uh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. And Oinkinator. Grows to level 42, and that right there is a victory for all of us. Okay, so let's move on. And before we go there, let's go let's go right ahead and grab another item right here. Kind of need that. And there we go. We found ourselves another rare candy. And let's see. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and press this button. And let us move on to the next thing, which is, well, the final portion of this whole area right here. Here we're going to be grabbing TM-22, which is Solar Beam. Now, let's see. This would not, this would more than likely be where they put Mewtwo or something like that. And you know what? Let's go, let's go ahead and see what Pokemon we could find. Trubbish. A Watchog. Eat more. Look at that. Speedy Gonzalez. 
Yeah, not gonna happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and just put on another, um... Uh, another Super Repel. And, well, let's see. Grabbing this item. And that is probably the key, so... Let's see. Let's use another Full Restore. Give that to Mudslide. And... Well, let's see. Grab that. We found ourselves the secret key, which is great. And our adventure is over. Now, the only thing is that we do not have a... Yeah, we do not have a... Whatchamacallit? A, uh, an escape rope. Kind of missed that. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and press this key right here. There we go. And let's see. We have to press the other key right here just in case we can't open up the other room. So let's see. You have to press in the front. Okay. And of course I'm going speed button because I kind of want to get the heck out of here real quickly. And here we are. Oh, wow. Hold on. And there we go. Our repel has worn off. And let's go right ahead and use another super repel. And... Let's see, let's see. Alrighty, okay. And there we go. We are out. Okay, so we are finally out of the, the Pokemon Mansion. We can actually go into the gym now. And, well, we're going to stay put because in the next episode, that's exactly what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to take on uh, Blaine for our seventh badge right here. So stay tuned, guys. I will be, I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Unova Red. See you guys.